Hello friends, this is Low Rate Hit Man. What I got is just a little quick video. I guys want to give you guys a little update on what I got going on. Uh, no, I said I was going to save my SP, but I spent a little SP today. It's been a few days since uh, you know Uprising has come out, you know, and I've kind of scoped everything out and what direction I want to go to, and I've decided I'm going to go Caldera Assault. Uh, kind of show you what I got going on right now. It's uh, pretty simple. Maybe you guys can give me some input, some ideas, what you got going on or whatnot. Uh, what I ended up doing is I got the basic Caldera Proto Suit. I didn't go all the way straight to straight through to massive racial proto like a lot of people's been doing. Uh, I figured this was good enough. I mean, this uh, CKO to me is the same thing as the VK1 last build. I mean, I got four highs, three lows. Uh, as you can tell, I'm running the Exile and the Toxin. I'm not. I'm doing good with it. I really don't need to upgrade to any higher assault rifles at this time, at this juncture. I mean. Uh, waiting to see what the scramble rifle is all about and uh, maybe some other weapons uh basic shield extenders enhanced shield recharger enhanced damage modifier enhanced armor plate enhanced armor repair enhanced shield regulator k2 nano hive these things are uh, very important because the militia and the regular nano hives are straight trash you step in them and replenish anything and it's over with and then i've got my grenades there uh this right here to get into all this with the skills that I've got acquired right here which I've got quite a bit there's some things going up but I'm just taking my time with it you know as you can see what I've got here cost me roughly ah, 3.5 million SP to get into the equivalent of last build's VK1 proto suit with enhanced gear on it except my rifle and my sidearm I mean and a lot of people are saying that this build the SP is expensive and this and that I disagree and I beg to differ uh, I know you get racial bonuses once you go into racial proto or whatnot and I'm not talking about logic you guys don't get me confused here. I'm just talking about assault now because I know logic you guys got it rough right now or whatever and I'm not talking about heavy it's talking about assault you know this is the way I want to go it was the cheapest in my eyes to get into the same thing that I was in you know, I wanted to get into what I was in prior, and this is what I'm in right now, you know, and it seems to be working well. Uh, there's a lot of variations that I can create of this fitting, you know, as far as AV builds, you know, I just skill a little bit into it. Uh, uh, different ways I can build this, you know, and once I'm happy with this, I'll save up the SP and move on to race or whatever. I'm not trying to make big sink investments like a lot of people already have. Uh, I've seen some YouTubers and some videos where, you know, they went straight into racial prototype and they're not too happy about it you know i would never do that and i would never encourage any of you guys to do that uh i'm gonna come up and make a better video uh probably of how to get into these pretty quick and pretty easy you know uh there is no pretty quick and pretty easy about it to a new player first coming to the game i understand that you just don't have the sp and uh, like i said this took 3.5 million to get to this point right here and uh I'm doing real good with it. If I was to sink all my SP into core skills and stuff, it would just be a badass build. It really would. Just on this basic Caldari Assault prototype level right here. But as always, give me opinions, and uh, I hope everybody's having a good day. And uh, hey, man, I hope to see you guys on the battlefield. Add me on Twitter, Low Rate Hitman. You guys see me playing, send me a message. If I got room to squad, I'll invite you. And uh, if I'm running solo, I'll join you. With that said, I hope you guys have a good night. Thanks a lot.